Hey everybody, Joe Friesen here again with another trike update. It's been a while since I've updated you guys, so I figured it was about time. Uh, last time it was a lot colder and I was wearing a jacket. I just watched the video to see where I was at. So last time you saw her, she was a lot more stripped down than she is now. Many pieces were missing. So I'll start front to back. Front end I didn't do much on, but the uh, brake, I finally got a uh, gasket. Got that all finished up. Still need a light for my Speedo. Uh, brake cylinder has been working admirably. Got the seat back on, got the fenders back on. Oh, bump into my, bump into my other bike, Minty, there. Um, yeah, got um, everything put back together and now I'm having some problems. Uh, on our last run out to Perimeteritis, uh, which is one of the AMCM's uh, annual runs, I uh, noticed that we were, le or that I'm leaking an excessive amount of oil. Um, Sarah was fighting the wind on her little CB4 or CM450E, and she uh, pulled over to, to rest her arm that uh, she'd had surgery on. Uh, so we were resting for a little bit, and I noticed that there was a lot of oil pouring out from underneath my trach. So there's still some oil coming out from underneath my trach. It's not as bad as it was, but. It's coming out not from where I was expecting, but it looks like more between the engine and the transaxle, which means uh, probably a rear main seal. Um, I don't know if I forgot to um, forgot to use RTV or not RTV um, high temp gasket sealant around that main nut going onto the motor. I, I may have forgotten that step, or maybe I didn't tighten it enough and it's coming loose. Uh, something's Something's gone wrong and I'm losing a lot of oil. Lost about a half a liter in a hundred miles, so um, not the best, especially if it's getting all over my brand new clutch setup. Uh, that's the other thing. I got my uh, six volt all out of the trach now. The uh, flywheel starter, all that's done. Uh, everything's 12 volt now. Sounds a little different. Starts a little different. I kind of like the way the uh, six volt sounded, and actually I kind of like the way the six volt clutch felt a little more. I had a little more give on it, so. Uh, but I'll get used to it, and this thing still rocks. I don't know what I would do without this trike. So uh, I have a lot of work to do on it now, so i got to redo everything that I did. Uh, if you watched my previous videos on taking the motor off and um, the video I shot a little later on of putting the motor back on, uh, you've seen the process, so I probably won't show you guys that again. Maybe I'll give you a quick update once I find out what the actual problem is. So until next time, I think that's it. Anything else that I'm forgetting? I don't think so, but uh, have a great summer. Ride safe. Peace. And I'm out. Hey, everybody. Uh, Joe Friesen back. Uh, I have a bit of an update on my uh, motorbike Minty. Uh, my bad luck with, with bikes seems to be continuing here, so I... Uh, Came into the garage to get get my Suzuki going, and and once I got it going, uh, Sarah came out to visit, and she said one day she'd like to try riding it, and I'm like, well, let's do it now. I'll take it for for a rip down the back lane. So she did, hopped on, took it for a ride, and uh, when she got back to the garage, uh, it stalled, and we went or she went to try to start it again, and there was nothing. Um, I checked the voltage on the battery; it was down to 8.32 volts. So that was really bad. So somehow in between starting it, short ride, stalling, and restarting, battery voltage was cut by like 30%. So that's an issue. I uh, threw the battery on a charger. It's an anti-gravity battery, one of those little lithium ion ones. Um, it's a 12 cell, really good quality, really expensive batteries. So I've had some problems with these batteries in the past. Uh, the first battery that I bought, I, um, I fried. Um, I figured maybe it was a bad battery, so I ordered a new one. Uh, the second battery that I had, a, uh, it died as well, and then I decided to investigate my charging system. So I checked, uh, I checked my charging system, and it was getting, it, it was running normally, you know, up to about 14.8 uh, uh, volts, and then every once in a while, it would spike up to 22 volts. So I had a bad reg, and that explained the second or the first two batteries, at least. Now, I bought a new rig uh, from a company, I think, I think they were out of Greece. I'm not 100% sure, Greece or Italy. Um, 
and I don't remember the name of the company off the top of my head. It was a few years ago. So I threw this other battery in, and uh, with this new rig, it's been charging. Well, I, I think it's been charging properly. I assume it's been uh, charging properly. Uh, so I don't know what happened here, uh, and it's really strange because it fired up really good. So. I don't know, I might have a slow drain on my on my bike that there was just enough juice that it started and came back and didn't have enough juice to keep going. It's got a bad draw in it or something. I'm gonna have to look into the into the electrical on this thing and uh, and go from there. So that's the update on that. I'm gonna check the battery to see if it's actually any good uh, anymore. I have it on a charger here in the other room. So this is the actual Optimate charger. And uh, it's showing all green, so that's a good sign. Uh, should be should show that the battery's good. We'll do a quick check with my meter here. Stuff is always fun to do one-handed. And we're showing. What are we showing? 13.6 volts. So th that on a charger for these things is normal. So yeah, looks like the battery is holding a charge. Hopefully it's still good. So we'll throw that in and uh, get boogieing on the Suzuki and then get working on the trike. So now that I'm doing an update on everything I own, I may as well do an update on everything I own. Got the uh, Harley here. Um, I haven't done an update on this in about two years because <laughs> I've been waiting on uh, the motor to come back from being rebuilt for about two years. So not really much of an update on this one. I'm still just waiting for the motor. Uh, the I did change out to a 21 inch front and a dual disc on the, on the front of this thing. I'm still working on figuring out the brakes for it. I um, also did a, a two inch over chrome front uh, fork. A couple of gauges. I know I'm not a big fan of gauges on bikes either, but sometimes they're handy and it'll keep me from hopefully over revving and blowing another engine. Um, I think I had a different tank on it last time. Got this tank on it now and playing with the wiring and getting rid of a few things and yeah. I think that's I think that's everything new on that one. So Harley still waiting for the motor to come back. Trike's got an oil leak that I'm gonna dig into, Suzuki battery electrical issues. So, yeah, just kind of generally bad luck. Whatever, I, I'm gonna get back and get rolling pretty soon. So, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I hope I don't need it, but wish me luck. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Peace, I'm out. Hey everybody, uh, just back with an update uh, on my trike, or on my... Uh <clears throat>